Hello there, everybody, and welcome to episode 16 of Tame Wild, the Home of Beasts. And, well, I took the weekend to ponder, and I have made a wonderful plan. So, we're going to have a proper castle at the end of the day. Well, sort of. My idea is to bring up a majestic little tower. It's going to sit right there at this ledge. We're going to connect it with the entrance of the fort, and I'm going to separate it from the rest of the world by a nice and wide moat. Because, you know, nothing says better get out of here than a big bad place of water. Except big bad place of magma. But that is another day's topic. Not for today, that's for sure. So the basic idea is quite simple. We're going to etch out a nice blueprint for the tower, which will then be also acting as the entrance for the rest of the fort. I went for this spot because here I can safely drill down later for the moat creation. That is uh, the biggest issue at hand, as if I wanted to use this area as my tower and moat, as you see here, we would need to restructurize a lot of our city for that. I don't want that. So let's see, um, is finally the traction bench production running? Yes, yes it is. So yeah, that is what we're going to work on. The other thing that I'm going to work on is an industry of leather armor, unicorn and rhino leather armor to be specific. We are going to work on a couple of things as you see there. Finally, I have some ideas. So we're bringing up now some some former legends into our roster. I mean, it's really awesome to have them. So there we go. Some of them not so much of a legend. Some of them more. That's just as it should be. All right. Obviously, we're lacking a couple of shields, but that is probably only a matter of material pro uh, of, of materials yep yeah they they want they insist on picking up a uh, metal shield which we're not providing there we go wonderful let's see if they can resolve their boot conflicts without my help we'll see about that <laughs> i hate that in all honesty So, let's see. Most important thing, we have six fighters at hand that can defend Tame Wild now properly. This the most important part, because I really was uh, feeling a little bit sweaty around my palms when I was uh, thinking about the safety of our castle, or fortress, how you want to call it. So, we're going to go now for the classic forest genocide combined with fortress building what could be better in a dwarf stay so we're going to cut down these like there love that new adventure mode soundtrack <laughs> we're going to keep this airlocks kind of uh, bridge there allowing us to seal the fort if ever a Dire threat is at hand, internal or external. I like that. Okay, waiting for that tree to be finally chopped. As you can see here, we're also leaving holes in the ground because we are obviously chopping trees right on top of our pasture. It's always the same deal. Uh, seems to be a matter of workplace safety for Ubul to go that way around, not the other way around. Interesting, interesting. Well, well. So the bottom line is quite simple. We're just going to have some Gabro floor here. Do I see that correctly? New people! I just saw a, uh, a new arrival icon there. So, Nil Ser lens gifts yes hi there so are you an og character oh boy. she's really really og year 101 nice 
nice. If I have any wishes for Dwarf Fortress in the future, then it would be that clicking here would allow you to see the migrants that have freshly arrived. Bothers me so much, don't you, that you can miss out for a moment and then you don't realize who's been new access to the fortress. So here we have a classic Sand Wallian. Nice. So let's see. He's been also part of the Emerald Gorge already. So that means this guy, he, he tries to have the grand tour of uh, Banner of Shadow Fortresses. Not that I can see anything wrong about that. So, I went with the idea of a moat when I realized that we had so much trouble with and around water that, I mean, here, well, the tier one caverns, that's another day's topic, sure. But uh, my, my, little, my little flood here, as you see here, it's still flooded all, brought me up with the idea that we might use all that... Uh, water that we accidentally generated and unleashed. I mean, after all, it's a very, very leaky place that we've settled on. So, yeah, that was the idea. So, gotta redraw this uh, corpse pile yet again. It has talent to be where it doesn't need to, where it shouldn't be. Okay, so let's see. I think I will design the moat before I do the tower, because otherwise I'm really afraid that I am designing a tower that is not compatible with our current available spacing. Down here, well, I don't know yet how we're going to do it, but I really want a, uh, would love a permanent access to the, uh, upper layer of the caverns for whatever reason there is, but, uh, you know, completion's sake, I guess. So here I used granite, and here I'm using now gabbro. Ah, well, whatever. Don't know really what, I, what I'm going to do with this part here, but obviously I was uh, considering granite on this place. Hey, you know what? We're going to roll with it and use the granite there. God, why not? So we're going to go for granite floor from this point on. I mean, this clearly separates the interior from the exterior for it. I do like that. And to... Stress out that fact a little bit. We're going to go this way. Okay, now we just need to close some holes and I think then we're good to go. All right, so let's see. Leather armor. As far as I know, we should be absolutely capable of specifying the leather that we're using. There we go. Unicorn leather armor. Ah. <laughs> Amazing. So, as long as there is unicorn leather, you guys make unicorn leather armor. Then we're going to export that stuff. Right. I think this might be the last one where we need to drop down a, uh, a piece of flooring. There we go. I'm gonna leave some engravings here on the side and then it'll look very fancy. Something like that I had on my mind. Just a slight pattern. All right, looking good. We also happen to 
get ourselves a whole load of timber together uh, by doing this. It's uh, not the worst thing either. Tell you what, we're going to make the doors to the fort passable for the moment again, as this will really lube up our logistics chains. Like this one too. Where does all the puke come from again? So... Oh, Libosh seems to have... Well, my, some of my dwarves seem to have... Uh, so they're puking because they have cavern adaptation. That's why. They can't handle the sun anymore. Our Baroness can't handle the sun anymore. Neither does Momus. So my engravers have become... Vampires. No, they're not. You get there. Oh, poor Libosh. Poor Momus. So I wonder if more people in the fort have that kind of problem now. It's the first fort where I do have this sort of uh, issue, though, I gotta say. Never happened before. It's very interesting to me. So I'm going to put a lid on the situation in Gabro, because I just don't want to have it any other way. All right. So let's tunnel this. So the very last ditch, unintended, is uh, going to be here. After that, I need to uh, build something on this cliff uh, edge. There we go. I mean, I need to do make this wider, of course. It's just the beginning, but uh, well. There we go. So, to make the moat effective in any way, I think we need to make it at least four grids wide. Because I want to have two spaces for the moat itself, and one space is going to be dedicated for floor, so that anybody who's falling down there has, when he tries to climb up the walls, just a piece of floor on top of his head, making it impossible. These things that matter so much because many creatures are excellent climbers and from that point on the wider the moat the better that's all i can say because i think jumping is a thing i know that this is a thing and therefore if your moat ain't wide enough stuff will just jump right over it yeah wolf fortress love the game for all these details i gotta say okay so, judging from what I see, we're going to go that way. Jeez, we're killing so many trees, I'm proud of myself. Yurist's mom would be proud, too. Alright. So, building that place did take a while for them. That's always the thing. They need to haul the gap row blocks, uh, no, yeah, the gap row blocks from down below, up here. That does take a while. Nice. Well, let's check back with our soldiers. Pause the game real quick. Resolve conflicts, update equipment. Sometimes that does work. As you can see, too, a couple of them have successfully put their freaking boots on. I don't know why putting boots on is such a such a exhilarating and uh, continuously difficult task for our people, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, so we're going to kill everything in this sector. Boom, just like that. Okay. 
And let's see here. We gotta be careful. Can only go as far as this. And I think we're already going that way. There we go. I'm just etching in the blueprint, basically. That's so much timber. Love it. So, I just had the idea to pull this moat all the way down to, to here. So, at the end of all this... Oh, that doesn't work here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. So, that one is the last one that we can go for. So, yeah, that is one thing that I didn't take into account here. Dang it. Ah. Uh, I was digging too zealous. That's what happened. Let's do this somewhere like that. And, uh, yeah, well, this is just what it is. We're going to fill this up with walls for the time being. Alright, so... Let's see. If we'd be going that way, our tower footprint would be relatively small, but I actually don't really feel too bad about that. There we go. So that tower will have an odd blueprint, but I don't care. Nice. It's not exactly what I uh, expected it to be, but whatever. It's going to be great. So... Then we put the, the walls around that. Then the bristles is on top of I think this uh, castle can't maintain a much bigger um, fortification in that kind of uh, scope. I mean, we could absolutely uh, build our way around this to make it happen, sure. But I, I actually don't want to. So... Do it something like that. Who's petitioning? The Rangers want a grand guild hall. Relatable. So this barren waste of a uh, place is the Ranger Guild Hall, isn't it? Yeah, you guys, you you get what you want. I'm a little bit uh, embarrassed about my Ranger Guild Hall in this uh, current state, but it'll all be fine. So let's give it a nice engraving lining, and I think this will do the trick. Okay. So yeah, this is not going to be the uh, ginormous, most ginormous uh, fortification ever, but that was never my intention here. There we go. So, well, let's get to that stockpile and redraw it again a little bit. The stockpile, always in the way of things. <laughs> Alrighty, so, well, love the soundtrack, by the way. So...
now put up the fortification plan. There it is. And then we just need to define where the grand entrance to the fort is. I mean, I think I'm going to make it parallel so, to this, so I can't imagine all our guests will be just driving through there. And we're going to have a nice tower here at that point there. Perfect. Well, not exactly perfect, but it's pretty good. I'm quite happy. I think it is just that kind of landmark that this uh, that I wanted to have for this castle or for this fortress because it really bothered me that we that that I had no idea architecture wise what I could do to make this place shine. But this being while being nothing too special, it's really really making me happy. So we can then, oh, I mean, I can't use this part here as my, as my tower outlining, actually. I think about it more closely. I mean, if the wall is high enough, it doesn't matter anymore. I just need to make these walls high enough so um, climbers will have a hard time getting there. Alrighty. And yeah, this is... Oh yeah, it's all coming together now. So this is going to be the main blueprint of the castle, uh, the, the tower. While I'll be... Keeping up an axis like that. And this part here, that will be the stairwell, where I'll be just putting down the stairs for all the levels of the tower. Then you have just here the interior, and uh, here you have the staircase to run wherever you want to. Nice. I was already wondering what the hell to do with this odd corner here. So I was for a moment like, uh, is this really what I wanted? It is. Absolutely. Nice. Alright, so let's place down some floor in there. No, not Gabro. No, 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 no. Ugh. Ah, oh, well, I don't care. I don't have it in me to fight against it right there. We're just going to slap the granite on top of it once it's done. Or... I have forgotten where in Dwarf Portrait DF Hack you can now cancel a big portion of uh, of work jobs. I don't care at this point. It doesn't matter that much. Okay, what does matter though is the question where the heck are we taking the water from? <laughs> that is really one thing that, uh, that I'm uh, thinking about right now. So we're going to have here a bit of a of a maintenance uh, entrance now to the uh, whole moat because that's just uh, absolutely necessary wait a sec I have that a second thoughts not here we're going to go here in case you're wondering, I'm going to put some sort of a uh, blocker for the entrance here, like a door. But if ever there is the point where I feel like the door is not providing enough safety, with this corridor system here, I can just wall off the entry completely. Whereas at this point, I don't have room for a door and a wall. And since it's all going to be filled with water, you get this problem, I think. All right, so. Now we need to dig deeper. Like this. And 
and here we go down like that. So we're going to be replicating the uh, service entrance now on several levels. What are we harvesting? Sandstone? Nice. Just what I want. It's just the kind of stone that we were missing. Alright. So let's put in doors here. We gotta make this a couple of uh, levels deep, you know? Otherwise, this is uh, not going to be a moat, but uh, a disgrace for dwarven architectural standards. <laughs> All right. I forgot about that. And now that all the other parts have successfully Finished. We are finishing the rest off here like that. Whoa, 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 you don't. Not that one. All right. The sequence of things here is important because we're, when we're doing it like that, everybody will have an opportunity to get out of there, out of the pit that we're digging easily. And there's also the uh, we we have nowhere the risk of a cave in because if you would start just with the outer rim you would end up having the interior segment here entirely dislodged it will then fall down to the ground crashing and kill everybody in the pit that's why center first then the outer rims workplace safety with icon i've killed enough miners to know what i'm talking about and the, uh, the bloody part about it is that the binding dwarves are those where you really am, you're, you're really sad about them because they're usually legendary after a while and uh, killing off your mining people like that really feels like a big dope. Okay. So we just keep repeating that until we are at the desired depth of things. I mean, ideally, we would be just putting down... We, we're just going down until we hit an aquifer layer. Because, pfft, you know... Who cares? if we're getting our feet wet. That was exactly the plan. Speaking about which, it seems as if we've uh, achieved exactly that. All right, our maintenance tunnel needs to be uh, secured. Alert. Bypassed my inaccessible site. Yeah, I mean, they're, uh, the car the wagons are currently not really able to get there. I see that. So we are going to. I'm very sorry. I didn't expect human traders of all things that early on. So we're going to go here for a retractable bridge for difference. And that. So that's a pretty, uh, pretty, 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 pretty funny thing that that's happening here. I mean, it doesn't really bother me at all. It's uh, just making my job easier now that I think about it. Because now we don't need to worry about how we're uh, going to get that water down there. 
We just need to think about how to get the water on these two levels. That's all that uh, we're uh, bothered with, so to speak. All right, my good friends, I think we have made a really good beginning. I'm just going to place down the, the last set of uh, digging jobs. And then I'm going to say goodbye for today. I thank you all so much for your time around War Fortress with me. I would be happy to hear back comment-wise from you guys. And as usual, feel free to leave a thumbs up so the algorithm knows that you enjoyed your stay. And of course, leave a subscription. Check out the description box if you're new to this. I have a couple of playlists for more playlists for more, you know, Dwarf Fortress things. There's lots of Dwarf Fortress things. See you all in the next episode. Thanks for being around, and bye-bye.